Yasseruov is a reverse engineering example of the Boeing in situ Scan Eagle. Scan Eagle was first used for the fishing industry and marine surveillance, but later its technology was upgraded and provided to the U.S. Marine Corps for reconnaissance missions, especially in missions abroad in Iraq and other countries. Having low weight, Yasser does not need a runway and is launched with a launcher. It also uses parachutes to land and is controlled by communicating with mobile ground control stations and can fly with autopilot if needed. One of the special capabilities of this drone is its radar evasion and radar and defense systems cannot detect it. Yasser can be dissembled and easily placed in a box and thus it is easily portable. On December 4, 2012, the Scan Eagle UAV was hunted down by the Islamic Revolution Guard Corps and was reversed engineered. After commercialization and mass production, it was handed over to the armed forces. Shortly afterward, images of the UAV's mass production line in Iran's defense industry were released under the name Say UAV. SAE Reconnaissance Drone is the first reverse engineering sample of the Scan Eagle with an operating radius of 200 km and 360 degree imaging with a magnification of up to 40 times and a viewing angle of up to 56 degrees with higher resolution and a flight ceiling of 15,000 feet. After that, another sample of this drone called Yasser was given to the Army's ground force and the Navy, which has a V-shaped tail. The drone has carried out several successful missions, including detecting and sending images of foreign vessels in the Persian Gulf. Yasser Uov has participated in international exhibitions such as MAX 2017 in Russia and ADEX 2018 in Azerbaijan. Yasser drone is about 1 meter long, has a 3-meter wingspan and its weight is estimated at about 20 kilograms. It has a flight ceiling of 15,000 feet, an 8-hour flight duration, a flight range of up to 200 kilometers, and a maximum speed of 120 kilometers per hour. The drone also has electro-optical and infrared cameras capable of monitoring and detecting blind spots. Did Iran reverse engineer a secret U.S. drone? One of America's secretive RQ-170 Sentinel drones went down over Iran during a surveillance mission. The reasons behind a drone crash are unclear. Iran also denied formal requests from Washington for its return, as you would expect. Now we know why. Iran busted open the swept-wing RQ-170 and made its own. Or maybe not. On May 11, 2014, Iran unveiled its version of the Sentinel, ostensibly manufactured by reverse engineering. According to Iranian state media, specialists worked on the drone after its recovery near the city of Kashmir. For two years, Iran claims it cracked into the drone's internal hard drive. But video footage allegedly from the drone released in February 2013 provided some evidence Iran had accessed data stored inside the so-called Beast of Kandahar. All the memories and computer systems of this plane have been decoded, IRGC Lt. Commander. Gen. Hossein Salami told the state-run FARS news agency last year. Some good news will be announced shortly about the RQ-170 and the optimizations that our forces have done on the reversed-engineered model of this drone.
It's not clear whether the Sentinel replica has performed its maiden flight or how this Iranian model differs from the American version. Footage of the drone flying over Iran would demonstrate the drone's capabilities. But that hasn't happened. Iran has recovered and possibly shot down three other drones since December 2011. Iranian captured two small RQ-11 Raven drones last year and at least one Scan Eagle. This also isn't the first reverse-engineered RQ-170. Photographs and reports out of China show cloned versions of the Sentinel. That a drone landed in Iranian hands is still an intelligence failure, the CIA is widely believed to operate the Sentinel. But one rule of drones is to not fly anything you're not willing to lose. This is because drones are finicky and crash at higher rates compared to manned aircraft. Aviation Week also reported in 2011 that the RQ-170 sensor package was already obsolete. And it's unclear if Iran managed to copy the drone's sensors. Even if the Iranian drone can fly, it doesn't mean it can spy. According to CNBC, Iran's specialty is asymmetric warfare, honed under years of sanctions with the help of reverse engineering to replicate other countries' missiles and smaller arms, and in some cases, make them better. What we're worried about is not so much the drones themselves, but the pieces on them, so things like higher quality engines for the units and optical lenses to improve targeting," she said during a webinar hosted by Washington-based think tank Agsil.